Okay, so we're live. Um, welcome everyone to a new series at Firebug. And this is a project I'm pretty excited about, which is cloning design systems repo, which uh, you know uh, got pretty popular uh, today. Um, it got it was a weekend project that was done in Jekyll. Um, and uh, I spoke with Jad, the creator, and he said he wanted to move it over to, to add more functionality. So I was like, great, I've been looking for uh, something to clone. Um, and this seems like a perfect site to, uh, to look at. Um, uh, and this is really a perfect job for a static site generator. So this is gonna give us a chance to, uh, to look into Gatsby um, and see what's, uh, see what's going on under the hood in there. Um, but this is a gorgeous site and that just reflects um, his abilities as a designer. And our job is to clone this um, more or less as faithfully as we can um, in React. Um, I'm gonna use Gatsby to do uh, to use to do this as much as possible, and then we'll host it on Netlify, and we'll use Firebase for any uh, backend uh, jobs that are required. So uh, that's it. Uh, we're gonna start from an empty repo, and, and it's completely open source. So we have all the material here but we're not gonna use anything except for the raw data. Uh, we have an empty, empty repo here. Um, and the other thing that you should know about is Gatsby, which is a static site generator. Basically it takes markdown, uh, basically takes data. It can be data from anything. Uh, in, this, in our case, we're gonna have a connection to markdown. It's gonna take all these markdown files because these are stored as markdown files. Look at each individual one of them are just markdown, right? Uh, they're just text files and it, it, it just, uh, munches up these text files and then and then feeds them into your React components. And you d d define these React components not as your static uh, single page apps, uh, your, your standard single page apps, but they're uh, templates for uh, making static sites, which uh, this is. So it's, uh, it's kind of like a roundabout way to do things, but at the end result is that you have a static, uh, a static site that upgrades. You see, you see that lag here as I, as I request and do the round trip. Um, it upgrades to a single page app once you land. So that's uh, that's what we're going for here. Um, okay, so I think I've done enough explaining. Uh, make sure you have the command line and then uh, let's, let's go ahead and install. All right, so I am in my terminal and I have a blank file. Mm, what's going on? Okay, uh, and then I just do Gatsby. Um, whatever. I'm going to rename that anyway. So um, I've already warmed up the cache uh, before this video started. So hopefully that install will be faster. Um, the main thing that uh, we're well, 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 talking, the main thing that we're going to want to focus on is essentially getting all the article data, uh, which I have cloned um, separately here. Uh, uh, right? Um, hmm. Here. I have not done that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what have I done? Uh, CD into design systems repo. So I have a local copy of all of his files, right? And I'm just going to copy it over into my new directory uh, using just the data. Um, so I have the articles and I have all the all the markdown files. Um, so I'm going to copy it over into my new my new system. I'm, the word system is probably pretty, pretty overloaded right now. Um, and I'll have a, yeah, well we'll, well, we'll we'll talk about it when we get there. Um, I just want this uh, download to finish. Okay, we're pretty close. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Um, so now we have this Gatsby site. I need to take everything inside out. Because I don't want, I just want this to be the top folder. Uh, and then if I look inside Gatsby site, um, I want to take those files out too. There's probably a, a better um, Unix command, but I don't know it. So that's my manual uh, move of, of file. Okay, so now we have a <laughs> Gatsby folder that was very unnecessary as far as uh, you were concerned, um, but whatever. <laughs> um, so we have all this stuff here. Um, and if I do Gatsby develop now, 
um, that should spin up the, the default uh, site, Gatsby. Um, so that's what happens. That's what will happen if you go through the main um, uh, tutorial. Um, and I highly recommend going through getting started and then basically skipping to these five things. Uh, and I'm going to assume that you know them or have, have been through them because you can just pause this video uh, and go for it. Um, so I don't want to waste your time. What? 8,000? Um, my computer is actually pretty slow. I might have to get a new computer. This is, this is not ideal. No, Amazon. That's not, no. Bad Amazon. Sorry. I'm not sure. Oh, that is terrible. Okay, so this is the default Gatsby site. Looks nothing like uh, our site, um, but it doesn't matter uh, because it's good enough for us. Um, now I'm going to fast track you. Uh, again, you should you should be uh, decently familiar with all these core concepts. But um, I mean, you'll see you see them in use. Um, now we're going to connect connect things to GraphQL, um, and if you have a basic idea of what GraphQL is. It's basically just a query language. That was kind of obvious and it's in the name. Uh, it's, it's, in a, uh, it's a specification for what data looks like between the front end and the back end. In this case, our back end is a build process th that communicates the front end. Front end is a template. Then it builds out the static files. Um, so that's what we're going to see at the end of this video, hopefully, um, if I am successful in doing that. So. Um, okay, so we're going to use the Gatsby transformer remark, um, and hopefully this is well documented. Um, it is not. Um, so blah, 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 blah. So, we're, so the, way to, the way to start doing this from the raw, so the Gatsby thing, is to add two plugins, the Gatsby source file system, which helps you navigate the file system in order to, to munch up all the, the data. Um, and then the Gatsby transformer remark to munch, to teach it to uh, munch up markdown files specifically. So those are the two files you need. Um, and it tells you the configs that you need to do for them. Um, so I'm going to go here and get ready to config some stuff. Um, Not what I needed. Oh, you just what I needed. All right. So sources, pages, all that good stuff. Did I do something wrong? Property assignment expected. What have I done? Um. To get inside of the uh, the array. Um, so there's that, and then there's uh, Gatsby transformer remark, which comes after file system. So basically, go through these plugins in order, uh, and these are the two plugins that we just installed. Um, there's, that's a good one. Um, and we don't need to call from pages, so I'm gonna sw I'm gonna switch this and just call it uh, data. Um, that's gonna be a poor name, but uh, that's good enough for us. And let's open this up so we can actually fill it in with some data. Um, so source data. I'm gonna take articles, books, design systems, talks, and tools. I'm just gonna chuck them over. Um, and we might have other things to steal from here, too. Uh, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and steal uh, the CSS, which um, is also done by Jad. Um, so CSS is part of, I'm going to say, I'm going to put that as part of the header. Um, kind of arbitrary where I put it, um, but whatever. OK, so I think that's it. Um, so we have some data. Uh, I'm going to call these, uh, I'm going to point it to the data. Uh, and in particular, I'm going to point it to the articles. Um, hmm, no, design systems, because that's kind of the focus of this whole thing. <coughs> um, 
and we'll try to get that working. So we're not done with our configuration. Um, the last bit is to create a React template. So we need to create a source templates folder. Um, and there's nothing special about this uh, templates folder. Um, it just uh, is a nice place to store things which are not layouts or pages. Um, and again, I highly recommend reading the docs uh, if you want to know the difference. But uh, essentially, templates are the things that are specifically meant for you to fill out with, for example, your markdown data. So design systems.js, for example. Um, and over here, let's just copy all this stuff because it's pretty similar. Um, and then they feed us some of this stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, we don't have a blog post. Um, we don't have CSS. Um, but that will uh, just about do it. And then the last bit is, uh, so we've created the template. Uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to tweak some of this stuff. And then the last bit is uh, configuring a node to uh, to hook them up to hook up the template and the data. Okay, so um, we're gonna have uh, this stuff. I'll, I'll walk through what I think the uh, this does. Um, so, but just showing you which which is relevant in terms of like what's you know what you should care about. Um, I think it is I, I hope is some value adding. Um, okay, so I'll create the pages. Oh, you just what I needed. All right. Um, let's change the name of instead of blog posts. I'm going to call it design systems. We should be looking on the left um, to see that's the file that we created just now. Um, and we're going to leave all these queries alone except for I think so. Let's uh, let's look at an example of a design system uh, article. Um, it's just a bunch of front matter, which is that's that's what you call the things in between the, the triple lines. Um, so we don't have a, a thing called path. Um, so one thing I'm going to have to do is um, copy down stuff I have found uh, externally. Um, I don't. I, I ran. I ran into deep trouble in in, in my rehearsal for this video um, because this was not documented yet, but um, uh, it. Uh, I did find it elsewhere before, uh, and that's where that's where that's where I got it. I got it from an old project of mine. <laughs> um, so um, I'm going to copy it, just straight copy it from um, my other project, which I'm doing off screen, um, and I will explain when I get there, if I ever get there. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Um, so essentially, uh, each of these titles, like I want to call them by titles, right? But the titles are like have spaces in them, so they're like proper titles. I need to slugify them. Um, so uh, GraphQL actually lets you, well, Gatsby lets you um, pre-process your your data um, with some file path uh, information, um, and it says, "All right, give me uh, info, give me some info, um, and I'll call it a slug." And and it's gonna it's just the slug is just gonna be the file name, um, or it could be anything else really. I could slugify uh, the title, or whatever uh, doesn't matter. But um, for now, the, the slug is just gonna be whatever you, you gave it as the file name. So now that you have that, um, you can go and when it when when the node process when Gatsby through Node creates the pages, it calls this GraphQL query and then runs it through the template to make the pages right. Um, and that's that's kind of what's going on um, in this uh, in the system. So I'm gonna rename this because we're not doing blog posts to to a design system template. Um, and then uh, it's gonna spit out. Uh, well, it's gonna so instead of um, this stuff. All right. Let me let me see if um, let me see. So so if I run this right, um, I, I need to shut down and re rerun the system again. Um, so in GraphQL, and it, well, in anything using GraphQL, uh, they always love showing off the graph, graphical uh, query system. Um, so if you just go to graphical, I don't think that's the address, actually. Um, oh, something's wrong. Plugins must not be a sparse array. Okay. 
something something happened. Uh, oh, That's the reason. Any comments will get you. Um, build, build, build. Whoa! All right, some things up. Create file path is not defined. Of course it is. Um, oh, I have to import it. My bad. Um, see if these things are not well documented, uh, it, it get it does can um to be quite of a mess. It does become quite of quite a mess. And again, this thing speeds to the file system, right? So. Oh God, what are you doing? Okay, so I don't have a path and that's true because uh, in the example, they had a path in their uh, in their blog post, uh, but we don't have one here. Uh, it doesn't matter because I'm trying to demo demonstrate something to you. Well, no, it's waiting for me. Okay, so Gatsby node is returning an error. Yeah, because it doesn't have a path. All right, I'm gonna co copy more magic and then I'll explain the magic. Um, so, Instead of front matter, we're going to query on slugs. Um, that's it. <laughs> um, and instead of front matter, we're going to query on slugs. Okay. Um, all right. So I just want to get this point, get this to a point where the node backend is working, uh, and then I can demonstrate to you. Oh, uh, yep, that's fine. All right. Um, I think it's graphical. Nope, that is not. Nope. All right. Oh, triple docs, triple underline. Damn, how many underlines you need? All right. So this is graphical. Um, uh, it's a general sort of query system, and, and if you if you go check out GraphQL at all, uh, you understand what that means. Um, in here, what we're going to want to do is look at oh, and it's self documenting. So these are all the queries I can I can do right. So essentially, when I'm building the pages, I'm doing this query, which is looking for all the markdown that has been parsed, and then looking for within the, within within the markdown, I can pass all these parameters like sorting, descending order. Uh, by order of date, uh, and then I'll limit to a, a thousand, which I don't have. But uh, and then each of the each of the edges, right? I can click the edge, uh, has a node, and each of the node is of type markdown remark. And this is the output of the thing that we set up, which is the Gatsby transformer remark. And within the output, we have um, uh, some stuff. Um, in particular, we have fields which which were set up here because we created the node field. So this is a special field that doesn't exist here. Uh, and, and it's called a slug. But we could actually query um, some other things. So for example, um, um, so let me query markdown remark, edges. Can I just go edges here? I don't know where I am right now. Um, it's asking for fields. Um, Edges. Uh, I can't do edges. I can do edges. <clears throat> okay. Fields. Fields. Whatever. Um, I don't have index screenshot. I don't have this. Um, I don't have slug. Uh, I don't want slug. All right. Let me just blow this away. Oh, mark down, remark. Okay, um, and then it's this um, edges. Yep. Um, let me just pull that node. All right. Let me just copy this whole thing in, and then see the result. Okay. I can see the slug here, but I can also see the front matter. Um, and see for each of these files, everything that has been parsed by the markdown, right? So it, it's been ingested in the GraphQL system. 
And now we have to query it in whatever format we like. The backend no longer cares, right? The backend has all this flexible stuff. And that's the power graph, y'all. You can query it in whatever format you like. Um, and in this case, we only want the slug in this system. Um, and, and then it gets injected into uh, the template. So over here, we're going to query it uh, with our special slug thing. Um, so it gives, a, it, it gives a path variable called a slug. Um, and um, let's prototype this, right? Uh, so, so let's say I have, I have a slug, um, and I want the Audi design system. Um, and let's build this query. Let's drop it by doing this. Um, Design systems. Sorry. Whatever. On the first day. Uh -huh. So this is type safe. So uh, it very quickly detects like which parts are wrong. Um, in this case, um, slug is not a member of front matter. It's a member of uh, fields, right? So I just call it fields. Uh, and that that goes away. I don't have a date in a nice format. I have like a text string date. Um, so I'm gonna take that away and take this away too. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna just take the whole thing away and just have that. So so this is everything I have and I've kind of prototyped it in a nice way. Uh, so I'm gonna copy this um, and uh, go here and just stick it in there. Um, and if all goes to plan, that should work. Um, oh, uh, there's one thing I need to do, which is provide slug as a context. Which So this query variable here, I have to provide things, right? Um, so that's what I'm about to do. And I just refer it to in the same format that I filled in the, the above earlier. So this, this path refers to the uh, path of the page. Um, so I know that was a very convoluted explanation, uh, but here we have a working site. And if I type in any random site, the default 404 page gives me a sitemap. If I click the sitemap, um, then I have uh, this stuff, um, which is where I ran into trouble last time. But I think now that um, I have solved it once, uh, I can probably do it again. Um, so let's try and figure out what this is. Markdown remark of, def un of defined is null. That would be because the slug is not matching. Um, so again, once again, we, we query. It's it's so easy to just um, throw away all the all the stuff, all the junk. Um, fields, I guess. So, um, so now we want to make this show up on the screen. How do we do that? <laughs> um, let me cheat and look at my prepared documents again. Um, okay, I'm just like checking my notes here. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Everything looks fine. I'm asking for too much in there. Um, everything looks fine here. I'm going to check my configuration. Eh, my configuration is fine. Uh, there's not much to get wrong in there. Uh, the node uh, stuff, um, I think. Um, you see, uh, there is some. Dark magic in here. Uh, that if you don't know what you're doing, you can easily get tripped up. And uh, I clearly don't know what I'm doing. So let's see. The name slug. Um, all right. I think this this could be just like a, a historical uh, issue. Sometimes you need to close the uh, the Gatsby session. Uh, for it to actually have the right cache. Um, let's try this again. Mm. 
reload, reload, reload. OK, good. Well, it's, it's showing something. Um, and it's showing Seek Style Guide. Uh, I, Seek is presumably that Australian company. Uh, let's do Polaris. All right, it's good. So this, that's your static site generator, right? Um, and let's get an index site um, to flesh out. <clears throat> um, so that's the last part of the blog post where you create like a listing site. And again, because all the data has already been, been ingested, it's actually pretty easy to make a listing site. Um, so for example, we do, it's doing a tags page, right? No, this is doing a all, OK. Well, so in, in the default setup, um, we have a page with, which, with an index. And it just shows that, which is exactly what you see in here. Um, and uh, if we extend it with, with some GraphQL, um, then it's, then it's going to become smart. Um, so that's what we're about to do. And uh, hopefully, I can pull it off. So over down in here, we just need to save export cons page query and then stick in um, so like uh, all query or something. Um, and then we'll prepare this inside our GraphQL um, thingy. <laughs> um, you can see I'm cheering up because um, we're, we're over the hump at this point. Um, so let's say we want all this data right to be available. Um, so we just have to stick this in our query, um, and that should be good. Okay, so uh, and I don't need this string. Okay, so so that means that this now has uh, this this function now has a thing called data, uh, which we can use uh, however we like. Um, let's make this a. Something component, um, and then console log this data out uh, and see what we get. So we should have a bunch of data in here. Um, and that's our data object with all markdown remark and then a whole bunch of edges. So we need to loop through this um, to, to really get that list, right? Um, so let's do data dot, what was it? Data dot all markdown remark. All marked, whatever, it's right here. And what's beautiful about GraphQL is like the shape of the data that you get back is in the shape that you requested it for. So I can, I, without looking, right, I can look, I can, without looking at this, I can tell that uh, edges is going to be, I, it's it's this shape. I, I can't necessarily tell what's a array and what's not, uh, but it's, it's good enough where I can have a reference for, okay, when I when I go for members of an of, of the edges, um, I have a node, right? Um, and then within the node, I have front matter and I have fields. So um, that's pretty much uh, you know a, a lot of what I need to um, to do this. So let's uh, let's have a list here, and then let's move this in, um, and then let's have a bunch of allies with um, keys equals to node.fields.slug. Um, and then have a title of um, node.frontmatter. Um, title. Cool. And just because I'm feeling fancy, uh, date. Why not? So that, mm, what is that? Whoa, that is random. Um, that's because I had a. Uh, That do the trick. Cannot read properly slug of undefined. Oh, you poor thing. Okay, so no doesn't have. Did I read it wrong? Okay, so sometimes there's no slug. So I have to deal with that. Um, right. <laughs> Uh, I can't really be bothered to deal with that because, like, basically the raw the raw data is incomplete, right? It's not guaranteed to always have a slug. Um, what am I saying? That's bullshit. Hang on. Let's see if we can um, resolve this. Like honorable gentlemen. 
Um, I cannot. So I'm just going to say I for now. Um, let's bring back the console log because that was weird. Um, console.log data dot all. Uh, data dot all. My, yep, dot edges. Right, just log it out for me, please. Yikes. All right, something's seriously wrong. So let's uh, let's actually look at the the logs. Um, got node, got front matter and fields. Yeah. Do I sometimes not have a title? Okay. Mm, no, I sometimes don't have front matter. Okay, I guess. Um, Jesus. All right. Um, I guess I filtered stuff. Who doesn't have front matter? All right. Well, um, let me double check my query just to. just to make sure that I'm not doing anything I'm going to regret. Uh, but you, you can see how we're building out the, the page to uh, represent all that data that we want to show. Um, you know, I think I never committed it, so we're going to have to kind of wing it. All right, so uh, la, 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 la. I wonder if that will do it. OK. Oh. I don't have any data? That is not right. Let me just try and refresh this again and see what's, what's up with that. What's up with that? What's up, what's up? Um, I should have that injected as data. Okay, something's going wrong here where um, I don't have, I have data. <laughs> so why am I, okay, so node.frontmatter. I think this, this, this is weird. I'm doing something that's blindingly obvious. And I'm not getting it right. It just not map. Uh, let's print this out because I don't I don't trust myself anymore. It's never never clean, is it? It is not. All right, I'm gonna print out every node. Let's go. Node node. What is this thing? Cannot be property title of undefined. Okay, so <clears throat> sometimes there is a node and sometimes there's there's no front matter. So we have to deal with that um, by filtering somehow. Okay, I swear in the in the practice run um, this actually worked. <laughs> I don't know why uh, this is not working right now, but. Uh, Thems the shakes. No dot front matter and end. You know, like dot. Um, no, that's not it. Come on. Um, so things get filtered out for some goddamn reason. Console.log node. Node. Please log stuff out. No, it's not console. Okay. 
I have a whole bunch of things logged out. So it looks like I have node.node. Is that what's going on? Because I will be very pissed. Um, it's like I have an object called node. There we go. Look at all that. All right, that was, um, I'm sorry about that. That was terrible. Um, but, you know, I, partially why I do this is to also show how to recover from mistakes. Um, and that was representative of one of my mistakes. Um, but as you can see, it's not the end of the world. And um, with some blood, sweat, and tears, you can uh, definitely overcome that. Um, so node.fields.slug is what you want to put in the link for Gatsby. This is their equivalent of a React router. Um, and now we can click between, uh, whoa. Um, now you can click between, between the main page and the front page. Um, and, uh, and then you'll get, you get different, uh, different sites. So we can display all that data. It's that connection of data to the static site that is like the core innovation behind Gatsby. And that's what we'll be building out uh, over the next couple of episodes with, uh, with Gatsby. And the rest is really just design details. When we, once we have this set up, uh, it's pretty much uh, all systems go. Um, so yeah, well, tune in for the next video, and we'll see you around. Bye.